So you dated Phil for about two years, then what happened? Um, it was uh, kind of spotty over the, those two years because of the distance, you know, from uh, and his being busy with school and me too. But um, we just found we had a lot in common. We both loved the Cardinals, you know, and... Uh, just, uh, Any dates in St. Louis? Yes, we went one time. In fact, we have a picture. Uh, someone took one of those street uh, pictures that um, was on the way to the old stadium. And I'm not sure which game that was, but I think the Cardinals played the New York Giants in um, Bush, old Bush Stadium. And we had pretty decent seats. Uh, you know, you could go rather cheaply, but uh, a trip to St. Louis was a real, I don't know, just a real treat to go down there. One time I went, um, this is before I met Phil, really, went down there with Grandma and uh, Aunt Faye, mother's sister, Aunt Faye Helgen, and uh, they, I stayed all night in a hotel for the first time. It was really something special to do that and uh, I was about 13 when we did that that's when they found out that grandma was diabetic and she was there for tests but um, I had a new dress and it was purple kind of lavender and mother made it for me and it fit very well and anyway when we got, got on the train there were a bunch of GI's on there and uh, they started whistling and I thought must not look so bad. Uh, so that was kind of when I knew that. And uh, Aunt Faye just kind of gave that look like, oh no, <laughs> here we go. But uh, getting to know Phil, uh, we didn't argue very much about uh, many things. I don't recall any big you know, times when we broke up or anything like that, but... Uh, you never dated anyone else no, while he's no. at college or... Anything. No, uh, well, I don't know if he did or not, but I had one one guy I went out with who was... His name was Grub. <laughs> and he was the same age as Bill, but... And he wasn't bad looking, he just was boring. And um, I didn't... When he asked me to go out again, I no, I didn't think I was interested. So um, that was the end of that. And uh, you know, um, when I graduated from high school in 1958 in June, um, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do because we didn't have money for school. And I kind of wanted to go to college, but I didn't have any big plans. So I was still working at the Purity Cafe, and I kept that up until the fall when uh, things kind of got uh, interesting, and um, we decided that we would get married. And that was in September of, well, it's September 27. 1958. And a lot of people got married young in those days. It wasn't... Yeah, you, know, you weren't even 18 I, I yet. I was not 18. And um, I told Mom and Dad that um, I was getting married. And I said, oh, you are. Did you need their permission? And I did need their permission. Um, uh, and Dad wasn't very anxious to do that because he was working in the fields that Saturday. We'd already had our blood test and we were ready to get this done. So um, he finally agreed to come to Greenville to uh, sign for me. Uh, Cause I told him, I said, well, we're gonna go run off to Mississippi if you don't sign. And I don't know what he told his mother because she didn't want to sign either. Cause he was still less than 21. So um, we had to go to the courthouse, and it was on Saturday, so they had to unlock the courthouse. We found somebody who worked for the state's attorney, and she came and uh, unlocked, and they signed. And uh, we went over to First Presbyterian Church, 
And um, someone we knew married us, a pastor there, and his wife was um, one of my teachers. She'd been an English teacher I had. So anyway, we had Tom and Damaris as Pinkstaff, Damaris's husband, Tom Pinkstaff. They had gotten married in March that same year. And Bob and Nancy DeMolin, friends of ours, who had married during that year before, and they were the same age of, as of, us. And there was Phil's mother, Lena Wise, and my parents, Heine and Ruby Spangelman. And your so that, sister, and Ruthie. And Ruthie, Ruthie. And yeah. Ruthie Spangelman was there. So we went to um, Mount Vernon, Illinois that night uh, to a motel that was 40 miles south of Greenville. We borrowed um, Bob Brown's car because the car that Phil had looked good, but he just didn't feel comfortable driving it that far because it had kind of had bad brakes, I guess. So we went and stayed all night down there at the Urban Mac in uh, Mount Vernon. The place is still there. It's not um, a hotel anymore. It's, you know, one of those... Uh, Places where people stay, uh, like apartments. And um, the next day we came back because we had to both, I had to go to work and he had to go to school and work probably. But uh, his mother had a dinner, a dinner for us that night at her house. And it was, of course, very nice. She's, you know, was very good cook and she had I think us and Tom and Damaris and I don't think anybody else was there but it was nice of her to do that so then we found we were looking for an apartment because I was still living with the woman that I lived with um, okay let's working. let's talk about that next okay